Probably not. Uh, sort of. That's fun. One thing I need. Ow. I think I. I think I pulled a, like ab muscle stretching. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie. Oh my god, am I getting to that, that age, or is it just my body's de deter deteriorating that? I mean, just that out much. of shape. <laughs> That's a very real possi possibility. Yeah, yeah I didn't. Because I've done that where I've stretched so hard and I've pulled a muscle and it's like, <laughs> oh, damn. I think I've been a little too lazy. Yeah, well, it's been a been an interesting week, you know, and now it's yes. winter break. Everyone's out of school and uh, some people t take vacations from work and uh, here, here we are working. I like working. I do, too. And I'd like it even better if I actually had the intro video keyed up, so that way when I was doing my fun little transition, I could say, well, welcome everyone to LRM Online's Genreverse Podcast Network, uh, the Daily Cup of Genre. It's our daily show where we get to talk about every everything in geek and pop culture and entertainment news, rumors, leaks, wh whatever we really feel like talking about. Uh, sponsored by the good folks over at Grow Generation. More on them a little bit later. LRMOnline.com. Genreverse. Genreverse. Oh, Genreverse.com. Uh, both go to the same place now. We're working on our new distribution, the new new Genreverse YouTube channel. So please follow uh, at LRM un underscore exclusive and, and at the Genreverse on Twitter. So that way you guys can be alerted when all the new fun stuff goes uh, up. I'm Kyle. This is Christine. And yeah. It's it's Monday. What? Yeah, I just had like a really hard space out moment. I'm like, get out of it, girl. Stop. Uh, it feels like Monday. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Um, so last last week, the the big talk of of well, you know, everything was Spider Man No, no Way Home. Uh, we talked a bit about it on uh, fri Friday. Uh, gave kind of like a spoiler free review. Uh, we didn't talk any spoilers on that show. Uh, Marvel Multiverse Mayhem, uh, one of our other other podcasts here on Genreverse Pod Podcast Network um, and the LRM Online YouTube channel. Uh, and then Breaking Geek Radio both covered it with uh, full spoilers. And uh, mm. that was okay. fun, you know. It, it was fun. Why is that not working? Um, it's done a lot better in the... Um, in the uh what's the word i'm looking for in the uh box office mm -hmm. sorry guys i am really trying to there we go i got it finally uh, i'm trying to get the numbers up for you guys uh original estimates people were shooting for like 150 plus i was like look 120 anything over 100 i'm i'm gonna be happy with anything over 120 i think should be considered a great success and then i said anything over 150 50 i don't even think is possible wow were 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 we wrong was i wrong, wrong? i know it's okay to be wrong sometimes yeah 99.9 <laughs> percent .9 of the time c correct though see my t twitter uh <laughs> <laughs> um and like i said even others had originally estimated it to be much uh much lower um it's the top uh, uh, weekend domestic ladies and gentlemen that might be listening outside. It's it's made over five hundred million wor worldwide. Uh, uh, it's already the the number one you know weekend weekend opening for any Spider Man f film and is uh in content con in contention for the second highest opening of all time, mm. all time. Like right now, it's it's in game Infinity War. And this, but, but uh, according to s several outlets, I brought up de Deadline, uh, Spider-Man No Way Home could cross uh, 257 to 260 mi million because of a really good good Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, people went and saw the mo movie outside of those front s seats, which I I told Brian. I think uh, the days of people sitting in the front of theaters is like gone. <laughs> It's time to Thank like God. change that space into uh, something else. Um, widen the screens. I I don't I don't know what the full so solution will be for that extra space. But our theater was packed. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen a packed theater in our city in a long time. Yeah, it was it was crazy, and the audience was crazy um, in a good way. Obviously, yeah, they were, everyone was having fun. 
So, yeah. Um, I, I know the, what was that? I was going to say, I remember as a kid, like, you know, all, all my friends wanted to sit in the front mm-hmm. in the theater. And I'm like, why? I don't get it. Because bigger, more in front of the screen is better until you realize, you know, the, the angle of, of human vision and you, you want to be within a certain um, certain uh, field of view. And, and yeah, it's it's fun. But uh, I'm I'm happy for, for the theaters. But mm-hmm. here here's the thing. There were um, it's it's again a point that it's not just the the pandemic we li- literally had uh more cases going on this week and the news headlines are all do- doom and gloom and i'm not making any co- comments on whether they should or sh- shouldn't be everyone should take things as ser- Just serious the as your, of it. Yeah, yeah seriously as your you and your health healthcare team uh uh plan f- for um it's it's be- what are you willing to to wait for and this was one of one of those ones people so far, now we'll see how heavily front loaded loaded it was. Um, what was the other movie that did really Ghostbusters Afterlife? Fifty three three percent drop, I think it was. Uh, that'll be that'll be a big thing to to try to beat. Um, but th- this is this is one of those those things. People weren't willing t- to wait for for this one. Um, I'm looking at these returns and I'm like, geez, you know that's that's huge. But but what if it was the same build up? And this hit without, you know, COVID like this mm-hmm. hits, you know, la- uh, without COVID and hits last year instead of, of this year or whatever, or earlier th- this year. I mean, um, what 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 if because it's making that not number uh, how what it, what are the de- demographics like? Is this heavy with y- younger people? Heavy with um, millennials specifically? So your your mid twenties to mid thirties. Is it he- or late twenties to to early forties? Uh, sorry, um, forty itself just about. Um, is it is it like that or is it? Uh, um, I, I'm I'm curious. I'm curious because I'm I'm wondering like would this have topped Endgame mm. without the the disease? Yeah. I don't virus. Yeah, I don't know. I I uh, the people that compared it to Endgame, I don't think they. I brought up the numbers because I wanted to actually go here and look at the uh, uh, Ghostbusters one from last month, but uh, the weekend drop. But people kept comparing it to to um, to uh, Endgame, and I'm like, no, guys, this is this is Endgame's way better than than the, this. Excuse me. I agree. So, uh, Ghostbusters had a forty-five percent dr- drop. Okay, so uh, that's that's really really g- good. Um, we'll see what what Spider-Man No Way Home does. I hope it's good for the theaters and for the studios. Uh, I know that I don't like Sony. I still can continue to hate Sony. And some recent comments we talked a bit about last week. From uh, Pascal and uh, uh, Tom Rotha, Rotham about whether or not there are deals uh, kind of makes me up, upset. Amy might have been jumping at the at the bit, jumping the gun, gun a bit, but <sighs> we'll we'll see how it goes. Yep. Yeah. I'm I'm excited for for the idea that maybe either people are tired of waiting, waiting, which kind of s- says bad things about. Ghostbusters Afterlife, which you know things looked better f- for us last month as far as c nineteen c- cases and whatnot. Not, um, and it it also was supposed to be this big you know nostalgia dri- driven thing, and it didn't it didn't do any better than what you what you would ex- expect during this this time. But mm. this just blew blew me away. So yeah, way yeah. way to go, guys. Uh, the other thing we I wanted to, to take a look at today, as I can write down this uh, time, is the new uh, book of Book of Boba Fett uh, teaser. Um, it's called Authority, I think. Yeah, Authority. I got to load up our trailer setup. Yep, Yay! To see it. What's that? I said I've been waiting to see it. <laughs> make make sure I get it right this this time um this comes out next week uh on the 29th and i'm pretty 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 excited about that cam and i that uh 
head up the Cantina Hours Star Wars podcast talked about this. Um, give us some volume. Talked about this a little uh, after we recorded Wheel of Time show. Mm. Uh, Cantina will be doing just the can- Cantina reviews. Uh, still hitting on Friday, and we'll we'll cover any news that that week while we're reviewing Book of Bo- Boba Fett. And if there's any big Star Wars n- news, or if we get any cool t- tips that we can pass on on to you guys, uh, we could do s- specials or wrap it wrap it into the daily cup of genre. But okay, yeah. Cool. Um, this is like I said, the author- authority teaser tra- trailer. Oh, I gotta hit transition. Yes, you do. There we go. Go and let's check it out. Do you trust them? I trust them. No. no. <laughs> Don't tr- trust turned oceans. I bear the mayor's heartfelt welcome. Mayor. Keep an eye on that one. I keep an eye mm-hmm. on everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting hoverbuck bike. The book of Boba Fett. Yeah. Cool. So it's. I mean, it's. It really looks uh, to to be exactly what. Uh, kind of been saying since the the first um, kind of like teases uh, of it uh, last last year. It's uh, a gangster show, like yep. old school mobster gangster, like uh, Italian mob, mob organized crime. Um, I don't know how much boomers know about Sopra- or, or boom zoomers. Sorry, zoomers know about uh, Sopranos and shit like that, but. Um, that's kind of the feels I'm getting from from it. Yeah. Um. Still not necessarily the the happiest with that decision because I, I think the world needs some just straight up bad guys. Yeah. Um. I don't necessarily need him to be uh respectable. You you know you know think about Por- Porter from P- Payback with Mel Mel Gibson. Mm. Um. Where he he's got the heroin addicted ex wife. He's obsessed with just a certain dollar amount that was taken from him. You remember the movie? Yeah. Okay. He's a bad guy. Yeah. He, yeah he he's is. just a straight, he kills, ma- maims, t- tortures, rips one dude's no- nose ring out, or was it his ear, ear either either way, rip, rips it out. Um, I mean, just, he's a bad guy. Exactly. But you can root for him because he's not, not as bad as the other bad guys. Mm-hmm. But he's not respect respectable. No, he's not. And uh, why can't we get more more of that? Why does every villain got to have some thing that that may made them what they they are? And you got to sympathize with it. Why can't it just be like lesser than two, three, five, five evils? Yeah, you know, some, some people are just shitty people, and you know, just there doesn't need to be a lot of explanation. There doesn't, you know, we don't need to. Like you said, sympathize. I don't. I don't like to do that every single time. Like sometimes it's it's good to to have a mixture of everything. Like and uh, yeah. Who are some of your favorite film villains? Like not any specific g- genre. So it could even be like that, a uh, like a bully kid. That's the you know your favorite antagonist, basically. Oh God. Or no, let's go with just straight bad guys. Your favorite like bad bad guys that that do bad things, even if they're respectable but i just kind of curious as to what's more on on your your list more le- lectors or more thanos where you're like okay thanos i get what what you wanted to well, do see, but th- no with uh with thanos i did not get what he wanted to do that was stupid like oh well, no the idea of of ma- making sure that there's e- enough but the way yeah. he did it uh, absolutely stupid yes, so that's what i'm kind of curious stupid. so um, who are some of your favorite bad, bad guys um i don't know oh that's hard because there's been so many that they they kind of try to make you sympathize with, even like with Darth Vader. They, and that's they've fine. Done a you, can bit. Pick, you can pick some of those. I'm just, yeah, I'm just saying, like yeah. even with that, where it's like, you know, like uh, his his reasoning for going bad, you know, just it was desperation, and then he just kind of like, I guess I'll just stay in the dark side and brood and mm-hmm. and all that. <laughs> um, so maybe like old school Vader. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I'll pre-prequel, go with that. Pre-prequel trilogy? Yes. Yes, that's definitely one of the best. I'm trying to think of, of others. Or it's just... I don't know, what about you? So, uh, when, it, when it comes to, to movies, I would definitely say uh, Vader as one. I would say... Um, 
even even like a a uh, thriller movie, uh, the Ghostface Killer in Scream, the original oh, Scream, yeah. is just an out yeah. outstanding b- bad guy, like mm-hmm. villain that is. He's got a little bit of a, a motive, but it's it's still a bad bad guy, and and the the ends don't justify any, any means. There's no attempt to even rationalize it. He's a bloodthirsty th- kill, killer. I like I like that. Um, video games Sephiroth is one. There's yes. nothing re- redeeming about about him. True, uh, very true. And I can hear some people say, "You gotta play Christ." I played Crisis Core. There's not nothing redeeming about Sephiroth. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see what what else. Yeah, because it's kind of like you you threw this this question on me, and I'm trying to think. And <laughs> well, when you like, so e- even looking at uh, Marvel vi- villains, right? Uh, some of our our favorites are like Loki. And he's yeah, but there's still that complex and yeah. hope that he he can be re- redeemed because he was an innocent child that you know had to deal with all the these mm-hmm. twists and t- turns and ma- magic and all all of that. Comic book Loki is very different than the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Has Loki. been yeah yeah. So very, it's very like much of the t- time yeah. Um, thinking of of your like lame ones that are just cookie cutter and not a not an uh a hit on any of the act actors that portrayed him like uh war warmonger jeff bridges in the fir- first iron man <laughs> but boring not mm-hmm. don't don't care yeah sure he's just a bad bad guy trying to make mo- money but there's no depth to, to it there's yeah. there's nothing with like porter like go, going back to payback where it's about that m- money it's the principle that he's got fucked up principles but he's he's on that principle yeah um i love all the the villains in reservoir dogs that's a movie filled with bad guys that you literally start rooting for mr especially mr pink i mean yeah (laughs) (laughs) um so yeah i i i i like a lot of variation but i just i feel like today we're getting more loki's thanos um i i almost bet kang the conqueror uh, the They'll make him a little the bad var- variant will have certain symp- sympathies. You know, I had to watch my universe age and die, die and yada, 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 yada. Um, and those can still be fun s- stories, but I don't Mix it I don't up a know. little bit. Like, yeah. try to get some bad characters that are S- really bad. Like, uh, speaking of Spider-Man No, no Way Home, home Doc Ock. It's still in those spoilers, every, everyone. Uh, but... Doc Ock is one of those characters where you're. It's constantly in the back of your mind. He's he doesn't have the inhi- inhibitor chip. You, you know, no no matter uh what what's the situation there in Spider Man Two. So mm-hmm. when you bring him o- over into No Way Home and you do a story with that, what do what do they do? And they they did things the way that they did them, which was great. I I liked it, mm-hmm. but. It's like everyone's f- favorite Spider-Man villain, except my mine being M- Mysterio. That's a good good villain. Yeah, he's a b- bad guy, a- arrogant, ego- egotistical, pissed off that Tony made made fun of his device and didn't use it for all the all the all the pur- purposes he thought it could be. Yeah, that's an ego's. Cent- he's a good vi- villain in my my mind. I, like, what other Marvel villains did you did you like? Like, um. Oh, I'm trying to remember his name. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. Which movie? Uh, Jeff Goldblum. Oh, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, not the col- collector. He's his, his brother, the uh, Grandmaster. Yes. Grandmaster. I like the Grandmaster. <laughs> He's hilarious. No, slave, slave, I don't like that word. Okay. Um, the Prisoners with Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> that movie was so funny. Oh, my God. Um, but, yeah, because it's like he's... I mean, you like him, but he's still a piece of shit, and you know that. So, yeah. What I'm about what about the more s- serious vi- villains? Who's like your your favorite out of those? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to think because there's been so many where they're like, it's good, but I'm not like giddy about them or, oh, or whatever. You got. Uh... So you got Song Chi's d- dad. You've got uh, I'm not counting the red red room. room that's garbage. You've got Thanos and and 
uh, Lo- Loki, you've yeah. got M- Mysterio, Vul- Vulture, both I think are real well serious I think, serious I think if villains. I'm going to have to pick, I would um, pick Vulture because, hmm. like, I'm going through all of them. I'm going through, like, you know, Iron Man's, I'm going through Thor's, and I'm, like, kind of... villains keep becoming heroes. <laughs> yeah, and so it's kind of like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to go with the Vulture. Cause, and I was so surprised with the vulture because when I first heard that they were going to use him, I was like, no, that, that old man, no way. And it's like, then I see, you know, what, what they do with the character. And it's like, okay, yeah, no, no, I was wrong. And, and I love being wrong, you know, um, in, in a good way, you know? So yeah. it's like, yeah, this is, this is good. I do too. Cause you, usually when I'm, when I'm wrong, it, it benefits me. Yeah. And usually when I'm right, it's, it's bad. It's, it's all awful. It's, it's the wrong clairvoyance and that's a joke. I'm not clairvoyant. Just, no, you're not. Um, uh, very ob- observant is, is that the word? Almost like I'm observing. It's time to take a yeah. word from our sponsors of Red Grow Generation. <laughs> take, take it away, guys. Grow Generation, where the pros go to grow. For all of your cultivation needs, Grow Generation has the right products, service, and staff to make your grow successful. Go to www.growgeneration.com, where the pros go to grow. Observational. Well, I think it's more than that. It's just, I don't know. It's. Like how you're able to to guess things, how you're able to, um, you know, your thought process, like all of it, all of it. It's just kind of like, I don't know, you, you tend to be right and it, it just feels like it's on so many different levels. It's and just, I'm not trying to no, flatter no, your ego. But no, uh, like I said, observational. So it's like finding patterns. Like I said yeah. when we were talking on the Wheel of Time about Pat and Fane, yeah. I went to two di- different places. I went to what what you see in the merchant history of, of man in, in rea- reality. Yeah. And then I went to fantasy uh, g- games and, and books slash uh, fantasy and inter- entertainment. And I spoke on how they're commonly used. And that's what I was kind of go- going by with, with observate observation. Mm. It's kind of like pattern finding, which is weird because visually patterns fuck with my, my brain. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's just th- that, uh, it sucks that I can't take take in as much as I I used to, and it takes a lot longer to process it all. Process it all, but that's really just what. Like I told you for y- years, I was that. Give me a random w- wiki page and just read it. Yeah. And why my my YouTube feed is just filled with people talking at me. <laughs> No, yeah. no fancy let, let's plays or or any. It's like text stuff, hi, history stuff, all all of that. That it's like Johnny Five on short circuit input. Need need imp, need input. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's that's what I am. Speaking of in, input, we've got some great input about about one of our favorite shows, one of our favorite anime, uh, Doctor Stone. It's it's one of those. This this news right here. Is both wonderful and sad. Yes, yes, absolutely. So uh, we got an an announcement that we're going to get a a special Ryusu or Ryusi, uh, because I'm guessing that second U is probably not pronounced. Uh, uh, So Ryusi episode, uh, a special episode um, coming next year, 2022, to help bridge between Doctor Stone season two, also called the Stone Wars, and uh, season three. I'm super excited about about this. Now, you you and I did get to uh, watch the uh, initial announcement trailer yesterday, but we did not watch uh, Crunchyroll, which appears to have subtitles on it. So, cool. I think we should take a look at that that and uh, see what we missed in <laughs> in translation while just staring at the wonder, wonderful artwork. So, let me go back to our yeah. trailer setup here for you guys and. Here we go. Good. First, we're going to to wake the hell up. I'm narrating for people. No, I'm joking. <laughs> God tier c- captain. Oh, they're waking this this person up. Ah, that's inter- That's hmm. interesting. That's kind of cool. cool. Senku seeking us out someone? Mm-hmm. 
summer 2022 i am stoked i'm stoked yes ah and then the this yeah this is this was the sad part everything's good to go oh guys you have no idea this show getting out of the army going through all that hard sh sleep stuff this oh going out towards the petrification ray oh Yep. I can't 2023. wait. 2023. I can't wait. Wait for it. I know, but it's so sad. To 2023. I, have to wait that long. I know. Oh, my arm. Uh, that is just everything. And I'm not going to lie, uh, because of how long season two, the Stone Wars took for us to, to get, I might have to break my, my, my habit of re refusing to, to watch things in a way that I've not watched watch them um because i'm not set on you know it has to be dub or it has to be sub i usually just wa watch it however i find it <laughs> first yeah and then we're stuck with it yeah although in some in some ways it's kind of like when when it does when you do watch it um like if we're watching it in japanese and then we watch it in english it's like uh, it's kind of strange like like we um like for Bell, mm -hmm. the movie that's that's gonna be coming out in America soon, yay! Um, we saw the um, the English trailer, and they like we were talking about. They translated the songs too, and it's like it doesn't quite work mm -mm. because the song was structured for a different language, so yeah. it feels weird. That's the one um, that hurts the the most when it comes to to dub is if they're singing that they redo in in English. Yeah, yeah, not a fan. Just doesn't doesn't flow right for me. Nope. So. Nope. It, it's, uh, and, because as I started thinking about uh, like um, other languages translated that actually share you know some an ancestry with with uh, in English, so you start mm -hmm. thinking of ger Germanic languages and Latin la languages. Not as much r Romance languages, although modern in English and and American in English definitely do have. Uh, some romance la languages in, in them and uh, J Japanese is just so vast vastly d different that mm -hmm. you know while we might be be able to get some better sounding Spanish to English s songs or even e English to, to Spanish you're you're I don't think you could get the same out of uh, out of ja Japanese yeah because it's like when you understand some like if you do some research and you understand like what some of their words mean it it has like a, a depth to it that's different than ours so it's mm -hmm. you know even like with with uh spanish you know mm -hmm. listening to a song that's been translated it's kind of like it's still well have... their culture's different yep. and it has that different feeling so it's like yeah. when you listen to it in spanish it's like you know, it, it means something a little different. Yeah, absolutely, so. absolutely. And I was only speaking as far as uh, uh, the way songs flow, structure. When you're talking yeah. about ry rhyming and and uh, the way you you hold notes through through your singing, matching. Mm -hmm. English is structured best for for in English words. Japanese best, you know, suited for for Japan uh, for for the Japanese lang language. And when you mix it up, and that's. All I was saying, not that yeah. English, not that the, the similarities in English and versus Spanish are are closer to no. Yeah. I was just talking actual. Okay, because yeah, I was structure. also thinking of of meaning and like with with other languages, I don't know much about, so I don't know how much meaning changes when you know translated a either lot, way. Like, so it's like I don't like, but I don't like. I, I understand that there's going to be a difference, but since I don't understand. Yeah. The, the the culture of that language as much as certain languages it, it's just yeah. it doesn't have that much of an impact well, on me it's it's like uh um a conversation i'll wade in into danger dangerous waters right now uh with a lot of hispanic or uh hispanic american latin Amer americans is a term that doesn't get used as much maybe the uh portuguese descendants and in, in like um uh brazil and what whatnot don't don't like that term i'm not Sure, but uh, that Latin X versus Latino lat Latino, the overwhelming majority of of Hispanics, Latino Latinas I I speak with, use that re request that actually have actively said not to use another t term, and that's because their entire la language and partially built in, into their 
culture is a g- gendered language. Unlike us, mm-hmm. where it's like, uh, um, you know, she has the this this item. Uh, they have these these other words when you're talking about places, things, or or a- actions that are gendered themselves when you're speaking about a female doing them, not just a hey she went and, and did all all this. And mm-hmm. often with with us, it's just that one one word, and that everything that follows we know is related uh, in that in that way. Uh, German had some similar similar things. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and. It, it is very, very complicated to to get that to tr- translate well, mm-hmm. um, and it's one of the th- earlier earlier th- things about uh, dub uh, anime t- to begin with. You go watch uh, like Vol- Voltron, which they re- rewrote a lot of things, of course, and people will be like, "Oh, well, it's just because the the time." Well, no, no, go go check out something they they didn't get to to cut up and, and change as much. Go go watch uh, Gundam Wing. It's very dry. I still love the sh- show, but it, it's very almost literal translations. A lot of uh, early JRPGs lose a lot of con- context lost in tr- translation because they look for the most literal tr- translation you you can can get. Yeah. Um. Modern dubs don't suffer that as much. Yeah. Every now and then, sure, but like yeah, well, there was something that we were watching. Um. I don't even remember what it was. And then we had a conversation about it where they decided to translate senpai instead of actually using it. Where it's like, yeah, okay. That's what it was. Cause yeah, it was just like, why did you do that? Cause that, that just leave it in people who, who, un, who watch anime, they know what that word yep. is. And it's like, just, just leave it because it doesn't translate. We don't have a word for that. Yeah. Really. You know, I mean, we've got stuff like, you know, like, Sure. You know, yeah. Boss, and but those teacher, student, we have yeah, our some honorifics are com- completely, completely different. different. Exactly, and so it's like just some things should be left in. Um. So yeah. Yeah, I think it changed it to big big guy. So yeah, the was just mouth like, flapping for for senpai would be similar to uh big big guy. You know, you know, would yeah, it be like, much much work that they would yeah, have to no, just, do. Just leave it, leave it how it was yeah. because it makes sense. Uh, there's lots of times they'll use the word senpai in, in dubs. So it was, it was a we- weird choice. And mm-hmm. I guess the other kind of like side to that, that is the fact that voice actor, anime voice actors, something we talked about in, in our, um, uh, what was it called? Uh, Star Wars vision. Mm. Uh, we were talking cause you and I watched them both. Uh, watched all of them in both English uh, dub and and uh, uh, sub subtitled. Um, lots of Hollywood actors they can't do anime voices. Uh, lots of uh, Hollywood actors can't even do voice work at, at all. So bra- yeah. bravo to all the voice actors out there, and bravo to the the ones that can do du- dual du- duty because it's not easy. Whether it's, it's yeah. the re- recording environment, the fact that you might not be in an ensemble cast you might be listening someone else might be be reading you're you're trying to act to these weird shapes or whatever on the screen some people just can't do it yeah but we've got a whole whole industry you and i watch anime and we're like oh is that the voice of chrome is that the voice exactly. of, of in- index and it's it's fun and it, it's cool because that allows us to have some some consistency and normalcy that we get with the with the subtitles, mm-hmm. and I, a lot of that cultural stuff, uh, in in how the words are spoken, have e- eked into or seeped into uh, the very core of the English dub. So I'm mm-hmm. I'm happy with with that, but I I do hate them. Don't dub the mu- music. Yeah, just doesn't s- sound right. Uh, literally, the wor- words do mechanically. Like I said, I the the cultural stuff and 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 words. That's all, you know, uh, uh, go, goes without saying. But I, I think so many people that aren't used to, to hearing foreign languages, like actually listening to, to it, not just hearing hearing it in the background. I think for, for them, it's such an odd ex- experience that they don't even care that the the words don't necessarily me- mechanically work with the way the, the song is, is go- going. They're just happy they can understand it and say mm. it, like sing it. And I don't know if that's a u- uniquely am- American thing. Any other English speakers out there? Uh, Australians, Canadians, our uh, for- former overseers across the pond. Um, 
what they were. Uh, yeah, I know, but you're just funny. <laughs> um, let let me know. No, I I would love to uh hear about about that. If if uh if you speak uh if you're native to a, to another language, um, do you seek out native uh translations of of certain songs or and and does it uh lose as as much? Does going from e- English to Japanese or English to Spanish, English to G- German, does does that lose uh, uh, too much? I would I would love to know that. So yeah. Yep. Uh, anyways, guys, I think that's gonna b- about do it for us today. Hopefully, you've been watching us on the LRM online YouTube ch- channel while waiting on the uh, Genreverse uh, U- YouTube channel, which uh, should be out here soon. It's holiday days. There's been the the tech tech issues. We uh, uh, many many people have ex- experienced. Uh, check with your at uh, your system at admin, and I think it's log four J is one of the big like things in the news re- recently. But YouTube channels, uh, subscribe, check it out. We got lots of uh, uh, podcasts go- going up, anime ver- versal reviews, Breaking Geek, Wheel of Times, uh, are the Dragon reviewed where we do the Wheel of Time, Marvel Multiverse May- Mayhem, Daily Cup of Gen- Genre, and the Cantina didn't go up l- last week because well. We had other things going on, but hey, Star Wars news this Friday, me and Cam potentially might be, be back because of the winter break, break, hopefully. So check all, all of that out. All of those and uh, uh, celebrity interview views, red cop, red, red, red carpets, red, where was that come, coming from? Red carpet uh, interviews and uh, Zoom and, and uh, more. So yeah. Uh, the Wrong pot- accent, Kyle. I know, right? <laughs> Whew. Um, the, uh, all the podcasts go up where, wherever you get your podcast from Spotify, Google's SoundCloud, all of that right there for free guys. And, and of course, LRM online and genreverse.com, all of your entertainment news needs, opinions, all the pod podcast interviews, even written interviews, email interviews, and that go up there. So, uh, Christine, anything you want to plug? No, I think you said it all. All right, guys, check out our sponsor. Please follow all of us at our social media information down below. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk to you next time. Bye.